Hello, I like to show you this tool which I often use to create the graphs for automaton and which you can use um, well for playing with automaton and to simulate them and so on. So um, I will create a new automaton and I will pick an automaton type. Well, I don't know why they still have the German names. Maybe they use my system language. Um, I hope they are f in English if you use the tool. Um, I think you can you find out how the deterministic find automaton works on your own. I will create for you a deterministic push down automaton. Next. And I, um, I will create the one for a to the power of n, b to the power of n, just to show you how this program works. So it doesn't matter if you can't follow me. So um, I need the alphabet items a and b. I need the stack uh, alpha alphabet. So um, I need the bottom symbol, and then I need one symbol that count the A's for me. Then I will create an... Well, of course I can use an automaton with just one state, but here I will just use one with three states. And by the way, the automaton here accepts with final state, so I will have to declare at least one final state. Then I will add some transitions here from Q0 to Q0, because here we will um, count the A's. So I will add a label. When I read an A and I have uh, the bottom symbol on top of the stack, then I will push, then I will push A and the bottom symbol. And when I read another A, I will under, and I have an A on top of the stack, I will push two A's and then I need a transition to Q1, for example, with, with a B and when I have an A on top of the stack, nothing is pushed back. And then in Q1, I will just I will handle all the Bs. So from Q1 to Q1, whenever I read a B and I have an A on top of the stack, I will put nothing back. And then I will add a new transition to my final state, in with which I will erase the uh, I will read nothing and erase the bottom symbol from the stack. So as you can see, this one accepts both with empty stack and final state, but for the program, it just matters if it's in the final state at the end. So here you have um, the graphic representation of the automaton. I can decide to, well, if I do not like it, I can change it here. Then on the next slide, I can decide to to export the automaton in different uh, formats as PNG or something. Here you have, well, again, the graph and the definition and the transition table and everything. And then in, in the last tab, I can, well, I can simulate the automaton. For example, it can read AABB. I can start your simulation and you can see it will go through how it goes its way through the automaton and you can see well how it processes the word and what the stack looks like and yeah, well, this one is accepted and then I can do another one and uh, well just do the quick check and this one is not accepted and I can I can check multiple inputs, I can decide on a length and create some random words and can just check them everything or I can type one on my own and also check them and well it's a neat little tool if you want to play around with some automaton and I you find the download link in the description and well that's it.